music producers. It's Curtis King at CurtisKingBeats.com, and you'll watch another episode of Bangers on a Budget. <laughs>
And all I did with this one was take the ratio down to 2.4. See how much more presence is there now? It's amazing. Took that. And then also I added a limiter, but let me tell you why I added the limiter. So I took the threshold to ride a chia, took the knee all the way up, the ratio all the way up. And then I also got this over here to the comp. I isolated both the 808 and the kick. I basically right clicked here on this arrow, side chain to this track. So then you next you got the snare. I did something interesting with the snare because I wanted to come through real nasty. So this right here, I just created a heel that basically gives you some of the sweetest parts of the snare within the parametric equalizer too. Yes, I know it's peaking. I know it's peaking. I know it's peaking. And the next thing here is I added a fast distortion. Yes, to the snare as well. This one, I took the preamp all the way up, the threshold all the way up. I took this actually to distortion type B. I took the mix all the way down here at about 15%, I guess that is. And I took the post all the way up and it just gave me a, a nasty little, mm. that's why I love like trap beats sometimes because you can break so many mixing rules. That's what I love about it. The only other special thing that I did, it's basically a reverse that I did for this lead sound. So this is the lead sound. And that lead sound can be found in citrus. It's a sound called chip four. And for that particular sound, all I did that kind of made it interesting was I cloned it. I basically copied the pattern over here to the clone. And all I did to get that reverse sound effect that you hear right here. To get that reverse feeling, all I did was this. I went inside the duplicate. I selected all, went to this wrench tool and selected flip. Then I selected the first option plus preserve start times. So then I took that, went over here to Edison and then I press record. I have this on input and I basically recorded this new recording. Now that I had that, all I had to do was basically loop this, edit, trim it. Once I trim it, basically I go over here to tools and then go to reverse, or you can put alt left. So now that matches what the lead was from the very original uh, lead that I put down there from the Citrus VST. You can drag that bad boy right here to the playlist. And that's what I did. Also, there's a sound called cloud that is also in Citrus. It just gave me sort of a dark feeling, but still gave me a brightness to kind of balance out all these deeper frequency sounds. And then also I grabbed the hi-hats. And something important for this one is I changed the release on the hi-hats and I made them super tight here. Same thing I did actually for the kick. I made it super tight here. Right. And the way you do that is you basically take the delay all the way down. You take the attack down. You have the hold here. Take the decay all the way down. Sustain down. Release down. Boom. You got a tight kick now. And then I layered that with that bad boy. That's also another one of the kits. That's a stock kit. This clap also has a tightness on it. You see the same thing in these channel properties. This is another cymbal sound just to kind of fill in the background so that it sounds like there's a lot more going on than it actually is. And then you got this open. And once again, I messed around with the release so that I can stop this thing whenever I want to. When I say control your sounds, that is the way you control your sounds is by shaping them in the channel properties. Then after that, I was like, I want to do something fancy with the sound design. I mean, it's not too fancy, but I just added this little womp, womp, womp to kind of give it a crazy transition. That was it.
anyways if you got more requests go ahead and put them down there in the comments below thank you for watching these videos thank you for supporting curtis king tv we appreciate you hope these videos are helping once again this is curtis king of curtiskingbeats.com peace please subscribe to the channel below curtis king of curtiskingbeats.com